So Doug, tell me about your feelings going into the event tonight. Well, we're excited. I mean, it's, it's our seventh year, a bunch of guys showing up for us again. Uh, we've raised close to 500,000 in these events for the bowling events alone. Uh, we just gave out over 500,000 in grants and programs last month. So everything's rolling, everything's looking good and going positive, especially with the economy the way it is, to have people showing up and supporting you is just a great feeling. Now, how does it feel to have all of your former teammates here as well yeah. coming out to support? And, you know, they may be putting down the football, but they're, you know, doing a little. It's, you know, they've been great. They've been great every year, guys showing up for us. And uh, makes me feel in the loop a little bit when they show up. You know, you get a big hug from the guys, and, you know, your heart goes out to them when things don't go right like they did. But, you know, they still come out and support you. Okay. So now your wife, Lori, you guys uh, founded the foundation back in 1998 when your son was diagnosed. How has the organization grew since then? I think, you know, our initial thoughts originally were just, we're going to do something local, it's going to be small, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden it took off. Uh, part of that was playing with Buffalo at that time and the Flutie Flakes and everything. And we had to adjust in a hurry and um, had to hire more people on staff. We do more events now and it's, it's really been fantastic. It's been a, little, a lot of work and a lot of work for our people that work at the foundation, but uh, it's been bigger and better than we ever expected. Great. Now, for people who might not know, how does the organization specifically affect, um, you know, where does the money exact go exactly? We just gave out, like I said, uh, probably close to 400000 in grants alone and then starting up programs over another 150000 And basically, you're, you're giving grants to upstart programs, uh, whether it be schools, whether it be after-school programs, a summer sports camp, uh, you name it, anything in-home schooling for some of the children, uh, toys and goods for, you know, uh, computers for the homes, things of that nature. Great, great. Now we know we're, you're going to be rocking out on the drums here in a little bit, but are you also going to be bowling? I'm going to try to bowl. I had back surgery about five weeks ago. Really not supposed to be, but I'll probably I just practice putting it down and kicking it down the lane. I could hit some pins. Bumpers? So we'll go with that. Bumpers would be awesome. <laughs> Please. All right, oh, great. Thank you so much. I appreciate right. it. Thanks a lot.